Ladies and gentlemen, Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions welcomes you to yet another season of India Insight. Envisioned by Mrs. Prema Rajagopal, the founder of this institution, way back in 2004, the objective ever since has been to enhance the knowledge of India and appreciate the diverse culture of this nation. As our young children take part from various corners of the world, over the last couple of years in the digital avatar, this contest has reached over 20,000 students across 10 countries. We at the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions truly appreciate and acknowledge the support and patronage given to us by all the participating schools, their teachers and managements. Before we begin, it is our pleasure and privilege to invite a leader in school education, a person who is a strong advocate of co-scholastic learning. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dean Academics at Vidyaniketan, Ms. Sumitra Raghavan. Good morning, young participants of the India Insight debate, quiz and drawing competitions. The dream of our founder, Srimati Prema Rajagopal, has not only materialized, but is growing stronger in numbers each passing year. Children of today have information available to them at the click of a button. But India Insight is one set of competitions where they develop curiosity about the historical, cultural and current facts on India. From the host institution with Yaniketan Public School, let me wish all you participants all the best as you move from the prelims to the grand finale. A big thank you to all the teachers who stood by their students as they prepared for these competitions and to their heads of institutions, not only from India, but nine other countries as well, making India Insight a truly global set of competitions. All the best and thank you. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. <laughs> A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you as you join me, Big Brain, here today at India Insight. Yet another season of this quiz as we are with you on a concept created by the Vidyaniketan Public School. It's grown in stature, it's grown in popularity over the last couple of years with international teams also doing exceedingly well as you saw in the previous quarterfinal. The Middle East teams have been superb in this quiz. But for now, we come into an India terrain with a second quarterfinal in the senior segment of this quiz. Let me first introduce you to our six contenders who've joined us here today. Two of them unfortunately could not make it. Four out of these six will move into the semi-final. But a first look at who these six are. Well, joining us from Kolkata, from the Lakshmipat Singhanya Academy with us here today in this quarterfinal is Shrikar. Welcome to you. Joining us as our next contender from the lovely historic city of Varanasi, representing Sunbeam English School, we have with us Vivek Patel. Welcome to you, Vivek. Neighboring Vivek from the garden city of this nation, Bengaluru, from Delhi Public School East, we have with us Arudra Ragunathan. Welcome to you. <music> Neighboring Arudra from Telangana, representing Teja Vidyalaya with us here today is Abhiram Reddy. Welcome to you.
We've now got two of them coming in from Sunbeam School to join in, and they've been doing very well at India Insight this year. First among them here today from Varanasi, let us welcome Snehit Singh. Welcome to you. And completing our lineup here today is Kushagra Chaurasia, also from Sunbeam. Those ladies and gentlemen are our six contenders here today, of whom four will make it to the semi-final, the world semi-final of this quiz, because you've got global contenders at India in sight. As we move from one year to the other, the competition just gets tighter and tighter. It's also the first year on a digital version of India Insight where we've actually got contenders who've been part of the junior version of India Insight, now graduating into the senior version, which is really nice. So we've got students who were part of this in the junior segment, and now they've grown and qualified into the senior version. That's absolutely fantastic. The rules of the game are simple. Ten questions, one point. The right answer is uh, one point. The value of an answer you get it right, you get a plus one. You get it wrong, you get a minus one. And all of you are all set on the buzzers as we're going to get started. Please remember, five seconds of time only and four qualify. So it's not a contest to win, it's a contest to qualify. If we are ready here at India Insight, brought to you by the Vidyaniketan Group of Schools, we'll start with question number one. Nothing appears on your screen, so you've got to hear me out. If you press the buzzer while I'm reading a question, you're indicating you know the answer, so I'll stop reading the moment you hit the buzzer. Starting with the first question, I have options of answers, so if you wait out till the end, you will get options to choose from. But that's your strategy, because only one person gets to press the buzzer. Question number one, in this quarterfinal, for the seniors at India Insight. Here we go. Maswaram is the wettest place in India. For many years, it has been that way. The question is, in which state of India, Shrikar has gone for it? Meghalaya. Is absolutely correct. The first point, going to Shrikar. As we go to question number two. During the elections, India set up a polling booth for a person named Bharat Das Darshan Das. This was around 2004-05. Snehit has gone for it. Uh, sir, it is actually that he was the only lone voter from the Gir Forest region. And uh, as per as the rules, uh, no person uh, should must go uh, more than two kilometers to vote. Uh, so a special EVM was set up in the 2019 elections or, and also in the uh, preceding elections uh, for him to vote. He's got that absolutely right. Snehit will get a plus one on that effort. On the second question, question... Number three, one point apiece going to Shrikar and Snehit as we go to the next one. The third question in this quarterfinal. Which of these places would you find at the confluence delta of the Brahmaputra, the Meghana and the Ganga? Is it Shrikar has gone for it very quickly? Yeah, Shrikar. Sundarbans. Beautifully answered. He moves to plus two. He's quick and fast when he knows the answer. He's got another plus one. Question number four. Hands on the buzzer. Which of the following people has been credited with writing the epic, the Ramayana? Vi Vivek has gone for it even before I gave the Valmiki. options. Go ahead, Vivek. Valmiki, Valmiki. Is absolutely right. He's got that right very quickly. He picked the choices from his own knowledge rather than waiting for me. That could have been a tricky one because many have written a Ramayan. So he really got lucky in that sense. But he gets a plus one. He's also from Sunbeam School. As we go to the next one, three of them on the positives. Question number five. This national park's name actually translates to serpentine streams which basically means it's a stream which looks like a snake. Found between the borders of Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka, which Vivek Neelgiri. has gone for it? Nilgiri. Neelgiri. Is a minus one. Minus one on Nilgiri's 
Nilgiri is not a national park. Nilgiri is just a forest range. The answer would have been Nagar Hole. Naga is snake and uh, Nagar Hole means moves like a snake. A minus one to him after he gained that plus one as we go to the next one. The beautiful state of Meghalaya is normally referred to as the dash of the east. Which country name? Vivek? No. Snehit, I'm sorry, has gone for it. Yes, Snehit. Uh, it's Scotland of the east. Is absolutely correct. Snehit has got that right. Scotland of the east will take him to two points. Snehit and Shrikar will be looking at that very closely in terms of whether they can really finish fourth from here. Four questions remaining as we go to the next one. Between Trivandrum and Bengaluru, where would you find the headquarters of ISRO? Vivek has gone for it. Yes, Vivek. Uh, sir, Sri Harikotam. Minus one. I give you two options and you choose a third one. Why would you do that? I said between Trivandrum and Bengaluru and the headquarters of ISRO are at Bengaluru. He's taking unnecessary risks and he's landed himself into a minus one with three questions to go. That's putting a lot of pressure on himself as Vivek. While the others will be waiting to score. It's an interestingly poised quarterfinal. Here's the next one. Among the following states, which of them is the smallest in terms of land area? Uttar Pradesh. Someone's gone for it without my options. Snehit. Uh, Said Goa. He's taken a huge risk and he's got it right. Oh, he's got that right to Snehit. He's got a plus one. He's moved to three points. I think he's going to be sure to make it to the semi-final from here. So Snehit and Shrikar to me are looking good because if anyone reaches to two points, then it will still take them through because two of them are there and two more will have to qualify. And we've got only two questions left. So as we go to the penultimate question, here we go. With a great amount of international market for these toys, essentially made out of wood, this, temp this toy town of India has become a huge... Arudra is giving it a shot. Yes, Arudra? Uh, Channapatna toys. Absolutely brilliant. He's got a plus one on that. The Channapatna toys today have a huge global market because people like wooden toys as against plastic toys. And it's a resurgence of the Chanapatna toys. Plus one to Arudra. So I think three of them are quite clear to go through because whoever gets a plus one on the last question will just manage to go through. As we go to the final question here today, and uh, let's see what's going to happen on the final one. Well, here we go. Everybody knows the Brihadishwara temple. At which location in India... Vivek has gone for Anjur, it, Anjur. is absolutely correct. He forces a tiebreaker in this quiz. I think we also had Abhiram Reddy going for that buzzer, but he was a little later and he's nodding his head. He knew he was slow. Vivek forcing a tiebreaker, but we've got three of them qualifying for sure into the semi-final as we move into the tiebreaker. All right. Tiebreaker is basically for Vivek, Abhiram, and Kushagra. From the three of you, one will qualify. The other three have already made it. Question number one in the tiebreaker. The Kabini is a very famous river in India. It is a tributary of which larger river? The Kabini. It's also known for tigers, which come there, especially during the summers. And someone's taking a shot. Vivek is giving it a it's go. The Gangas. It's the Gangas. So because another one uh, where the tigers come. Vivek so... takes a minus and will miss out on the semi-final. So the battle now will be between uh, uh, Abhiram and Kushagra. While Vivek has missed out by taking a negative. The right answer that I was looking for is the river Kaveri. Kabini flows in South India. Ganga flows well in the north of this country as we go to the next question.
tiebreaker only now between Abhiram and Kushagra. Here is the question. The famous Bhavani sword is associated with which king of India? Tipu Sultan or Shivaji Maharaj? The Bhavani sword. Someone's gone for it. Kushagra is giving it a shot. Sir, yeah, Chhatrapati Shivaji. Sir, Chhatrapati Shivaji. Shivaji will take Kushagra into the semi-final. Oh, he'll manage to go into that semi-final. Abhiram, passing late, waiting out, but really appreciate his spirit to take the quiz while he was still not in a position to take the quiz. Really appreciate your spirit, Abhiram. That was really sportive of you. While, you know, being traveling in a car, he said, I will not miss out. And when his teacher called him, he logged in. Really appreciate that. Uh, and it's never easy to take it when you're traveling and so on. So hats off to him for doing his best. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of that quarterfinal, we've got the following four who move into the semi-final of India Insight. Shrikar from Kolkata, Arudra from Bengaluru, Snehit and Kushagra, both from Varanasi. We'll see you in the next quarterfinal on the senior edition of India Insight. Till then, from me, Big Brain, from all of us here, thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye.